Ain't no one like pop. <laughs> I knew if I filmed long enough, I'll get the reaction. <laughs> How's that bald spot getting? A bit sweaty. Yeah, a bit sweaty. Donald's life is feeling. Donald's got joy. Joy! 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 Can you just get up off that chair a minute? <laughs> How are you doing, Marcus? Get your sandals on. Provide a little gut, I feel like. I've got a big gut. You know, we will leave out the. I'm pretty sure no one sleeps in Vietnam. <laughs> Going in the jungle tomorrow. Like 7 o'clock start, I think. I think I'm sleeping in my sleeping bag tonight. I don't trust that. It's about that sort of distance down the bed, isn't it? <laughs> Who's gonna put my hat on and tell me to put my hat on? Nope. Be hound. <laughs> Keep gloves on, mate. What? Keep gloves on, mate. <laughs> Human condo back there. Come here. If you think we're smiling, it's because there's no Scott around. <laughs> We've lost him. I'm sure we find him at some point. Bonus. <laughs> I'll get three shots too. So he's gonna try. Do you know what this? Sorry? That's one. No. Rata. Ah, okay, yeah. So make the, the mats. So nature. Yeah. You know where they make the chairs? Yeah. The woven chairs? Okay, yeah. So that's that stuff. And this one, you know? Yeah. This one is a very famous species. For, uh, during the war, we use it okay. for, to make the fruit. 
Yeah. At the end, it's uh, to again with the napalm bomb. Yeah. If not fire. Oh, okay. Fire. It's, ah, it's fire with time. Pressure's on. Test this before we come out, shouldn't we? So we're professional. So I, me and Luke, no, you'd test it. Test it, we can't. No. Uh, it's coming out, yeah. Huh? Oh And there's the ranger station attached to the toilet that goes into the water. Let me touch the toilet. <laughs> that Marcus is just drunk. Does that really touch the toilet? Alright, I walked all the way down there. Is it got the side of the room? <laughs> <laughs> can, can you believe it? Marcus has been to the toilet in the jungle and there's a toilet there. Do you know what? I lost my toilet paper. <laughs> At least it was downstream before you drank it. I don't want to stand in there, so I'll put a rock on it. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a toilet up there. Yeah, it's the back bit, yeah. She said you're going. <coughs> but that's why we was, all on, we was taking pictures from up there, mate. You know, you thought you was in the jungle. That ranger station up the top can see where you was just having a um, number two. I'm surprised it didn't. You've really got fun. <laughs> you want them out? No, it's the toilet of it. Kitchen and everything. Yeah. 
had to change my battery. Now here I am, one man alone in the jungles of Vietnam. Oh, will I ever find my team again? Mate, what? look, it's not here. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, <laughs> I thought you paid them enough. <laughs> Did you not give them that little tip? No, <laughs> As you can see, we have a wild Scot in our midst again, protected by that flannel over the back of his neck. <laughs> he smells very strong of mosquito repellent <laughs> and has those fashionable little shoes on. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get to see him again sometime later on in the trip. Here we have him again. Who knew? He earned the nickname Lucas America. Scott is the speed leader. <laughs> I don't know where he is. So, me and Marcus have found nothing. We might be a bit lost. But, on the upside, tell us why I'm so we're not bothered. There doesn't seem to be anyone. I'm not hearing one either direction the About <laughs> anymore. Oh, sounds like salvation. That's it, Karen. We didn't have it that far. Yeah, Luke, real talk. <laughs> <laughs> if we got lost in the jungle, how long do you reckon we'd last after those wine gums run out? Uh, about three hours. We have to do gum. We're not chewing on the wrong bark. <laughs> Eating some mushrooms, tripping out in the rainforest. <laughs> <laughs> Trippy mushrooms. Yeah. It's starting to get thick now. Yeah. 
in here. It was a flattened loop like the boulder from Raiders of the Lost Ark or whichever one it is. So I have to be careful there, otherwise I've flattened you like that boulder in um, Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> when we arrive, Scott will tell you that it is as easy. <laughs> it's not easy at all. I am knackered. I think Luke's not too bad. That you, uh, they, they say that you are very, um, very good, very okay, yeah. very professional. <laughs> Night's camp <laughs> on oh, that animal. <laughs> that insect. <laughs> <laughs> Mosquito. <laughs> oh, we're in the forest and Scott is listening <laughs> to DJ Lark and MZ Neat. <laughs> With a little bit of luck. <laughs> Jungle, babe. So it's starting to get to evening time now. Um, it's probably about half past four, I think. Uh, so we arrived maybe an hour ago. Um, so we're now on the edge of the piece of land that's owned by Viet Nature. So everything that way is Viet Nature for about, I think 800 hectares, I think. And the whole nature reserve bit, I think is, no, sorry. The area that they patrol is 2,000 square, uh, 2,000 hectares. Um, but yeah, the I think it must have been yeah about five hours or so of hiking. Um, Scott didn't struggle with it at all. Um, Luke was all right, um, but I struggled quite a bit with it. Uh, it's so hot. Um, I'm not exactly the fittest person. Um, I don't think that's a <laughs> secret. Um, but yeah, we made it. Um, I started feeling a little bit funky. I need to go to the toilet again. I started feeling a bit sick, pounding headache. Um, so I think I was starting to get a little bit of heat stroke because it's really, really, especially once you're in the forest um, where it's a lot more dense. It's so, so hot in there and so humid. The humidity is it's just mad. Um, so I had a bit of a swim in the river, which was really cold. I think he said it's like 10 degrees. <laughs> But, so that woke me up a bit and I feel a lot, lot better now. So we're gonna have dinner in a bit, um, which will be good, get some energy back, just have some water. And yeah, just gonna chill out for the rest of the evening. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna do a little bit of patrolling, having a look at the, uh, for snares and things. Um, I think it's been quite recently done. So we're sort of a extra little set of eyes in here. Um, so I don't, we're probably not gonna find anything. Um, hopefully, that's what we're hoping. I mean, it's, it, it's amazing how many snares they get in a place that's as remote as this. Um, so, obviously, as I said in one of the previous videos, it's not so much the locals that need blaming as such, because it's there's such a demand for them to, to do it. Um, but yeah, so the Crested Argus, we're just sort of on the border 
of where that can be found. So we're not likely to see any, um, plus they're quite rare as well. Um, I'll be honest, I've not actually really seen any animals at all today. Uh, a few butterflies, we've heard a lot of birds, and we saw a few birds once we got to camp, and we saw a load of movement in some trees earlier as well. Um, so I've got a feeling there might have been some macaques or so maybe watching us. Um, there's a lot of movement there, it didn't look like birds. You know, it could have been a large bird, but I, I don't think so. I think, obviously I've seen quite a few primates myself in the wild before. Um, I've been quite lucky with that. Um, in fact, I might. while I'm talking, you can have a look at some pictures I've taken in the past of monkeys in the wild. Um, and apes as well, I've been lucky with apes, some um, both gibbons and orangutans as well. Um, but yeah, and the movement in the trees looked a lot like you get from um, cats and things like that. So I think that's probably what it was, but they stayed hidden out of the way, so we haven't seen any real wildlife yet. Hopefully we see some more tomorrow once we're off the trails. Um, but yeah, we'll see. It's really, really nice here. Um, it's been an adventure so far. That's for sure. Um, it's not something that I think we'll be able to do again in a hurry. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd want to do it again in a hurry, to be honest. Um, it's, I've got a lot of respect for the lads who come here and do it for a living. So I was talking to some of them and they spend about a month at a time in the forest. Um, so stay in a good couple of hours hike from the nearest village. Um, yeah, so I've got a lot of, lot of respect for them. Um, Obviously they're a little bit more used to the humidity and the temperature and everything, but it's still it's a hard job, a really hard job. Um, and also the porters who have carried our tam uh, camp up here, a lot of respect for those. Um, so yeah, we'll probably see some more footage later when we have some dinner around the campfire. Um, and yeah, I think it's going to be an early night. Um, I'm looking forward to an early night. My la last night in the hotel was awful. I had the worst neighbours. Um, you could ever possibly have in a hotel room. Uh, we were having a party till late at night. And then the guy who was in the room next to me was snoring so loud I thought he was in the bed next to me. Um, it was absolute madness. Um, but yeah, it's been an adventure. So we'll pick up some more footage tomorrow when we head back uh, to where we started. And then they're gonna take us to one of their ranger stations where it might be a little bit more comfortable for the night. Um, and hopefully a little bit less walking. But yeah, loving it out here. Really, really good, really good. So glad I had the opportunity to do it. Blood up the leg. the blood up the leg. Oh no. Mm. Right, so one at a time, so I can actually hear you. How was that? And let's not just have. Yeah, it's alright. Oh. I've just done a five minute piece of camera. You can manage a bit more than. <laughs> it's alright. Oh, well, it was alright for me. I found it nice and easy. Didn't find it that hard at all. What about the, what's it like over there? Yeah, it's really nice. It's peaceful compared to the beep 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 beeps. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, no, it's been nice. Not seen any animals yet though. Yeah, I just said that as well. I've seen one animal sitting there, just spoke <laughs> to him. <laughs> no, it was good. I'm uh, tired. Why are you putting the camera on me as well, mate? <laughs> yeah, it was good. It's uh, hard work, very hot, very humid. Mm. And uh, yeah, as you said, we haven't seen no animals yet. Yeah, I think that's the bit that surprised you to the Actually, most. Yeah, I've just seen a chicken. <laughs> just about to be cooked. Yeah. <laughs> to the pan. <laughs> but I think you both said that was the most surprising thing for you, wasn't it? Yeah, not a lot of animals. Um, but that's one thing which I noticed when I was in Vietnam before as well, is that there's um, there's not that much wildlife because it's impacted so much by Especially this area was impacted a lot by the war. Um, but when we come out of the jungle, we're going to see a little bit more um of the demilitarized zone but yeah the see you all for dinner cold. yeah the wall was cold <laughs> all the um local lads kept saying to him ah little leech little leech <laughs> <laughs> turn off before you can say now they were saying big leech <laughs> why are you why are you going as well because i said big leech 
<laughs> why are you recording in? Why are you recording? Hij zit er al in het list. That's why he's got me braced across two different poles. <laughs> Yeah, I just realised that, you're on the other side, isn't you? Yeah. You're with the girl. And they're on. Oh, this is going to be immense. Oh, I'm having another rock. <laughs> None of that. Can you hear it? Oh, you is a rock, yeah. So? Huh? Or do the glass of rock to myself. I think maybe it's too low. No, I think it's okay. <laughs> I can't reach that. Look, are you, you actually on a rock? No, he's not. How's oh, your bag, mate? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, we're good. What else she got? Blackjacks and white guns. Blackjack? Yeah. Oh, you can see why they're hiding, mate. Blackjack's well for you up as well. I actually don't know you need to see that, huh? I see bagging too much. I think I'm going to stay like this in my jumper. Yeah. Look. In the hook. Find one. To get the snake, the These are waterproof, eh? What? Waterproof. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't realise they'd done that by then. <laughs> <laughs> Were you trying to do it? I'd do it. No, I just didn't know. <laughs> it's a good start of the night. Luke, what's up with your tent? Well, it's getting a little bit wet, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Like pop. 